The following program is paid for by the Real Estate Radio Network. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Fresno on 105.9 The FM KMJ. Now, live in studio, your host, local real estate expert, Craig Barton. Good morning, Central Valley. I am your host, Craig Barton, and welcome to the Real Estate Radio Network, the most important hour of radio each week here on 105.9 The FM KMJ. Now the studio has eyes, just so you know, Michelle. Real Estate Radio is a show dedicated to bringing some rational thought to the crazy world that we live in and helping you to rebuild the Central Valley's housing and credit markets. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted advice, and that's exactly what you're going to hear every Sunday morning from 7 to 8 a.m. right here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, happy Memorial Day weekend. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good that sounded, morning. Sounded rather... Good morning. Okay. Everybody's got three days off. Yeah. Well, a lot of people. I'm, uh, I, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. I, I've got four days off. Well, not really. Rub it in. Off. Look, I, I'm mm. going to lay by the pool. Are you? On Monday. Sure. Get some sun. I got to. It's called rejuvenate. Resuscitate. My mama always said, I got to rejuvenate my spirit. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And everybody needs a good three day or once in a while yeah. just to relax and, and regroup and rejuvenate. I really do think it's uh I agree because we, we all get. As my mama would say, T R D. What's tard? Tar, yeah, tard. Tard. Did she do her wash? <laughs> no, she she did. No, she <laughs> she just didn't spell it out all the way because she she thought that it was somewhat of a self fulfilling prophecy if I she see. said, "I am so tired." She didn't want to com- be a complainer or labeled as. So a she was tard. She was There's t- so many ways we can no, take she that was conversation. T R D. Oh, she would say T R D. T R D. Oh, she would use the acronym T R D. She, no, she would say T R D, and that oh. meant mom was tired. I see. There you go. Well, this mom's tired, and she's excited that she's taking a couple days off. And thank goodness we've got Memorial Day for you to do it on. Thank you. Yes. Got to love yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, as always, it is so good to have my... Oh, who am I? Who are you? You are Michelle Pettis. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Stopped right at the edge of the cliff. Yes, you did. <laughs> Unlike you, you jumped. <laughs> I at one point. <laughs> got to rewind that back up there. As always, it's so good to have Michelle Pettis here in the studio with us. Michelle is a licensed real estate professional. She's a realtor. A realtor. Realtor. It's, there's just, it's just it's one syllable, realtor. Realtor. Not realtor. Yeah. It's two syllables, actually. She's, realtor. She's a realtor. No, it in with the middle. With Holmes. Realtor. Yeah. And does a phenomenal job. Why, thank I, you. I, thank you. I, seriously, I, I, you do. You do a great job. Well, thanks. She's part of my team. <laughs> part of my team. Well, get at the Real Estate Radio Network gives us the opportunity to reach so many people efficiently for one full hour each and every week. Our goal at the Real Estate Radio Network is to get you, our listeners, the timely and accurate truth about your local real estate market so we can help bring you back home. Well, on today's show, are we seeing the death of the short sale and the decline of the REO? Hmm. We're going to talk about that. Also, homebuyers clueless about mortgages. First-time homebuyers. The stats are telling us quite a few of them are quite clueless. Not a great thing. No. Might be a great, a great time for you to talk about our uh, yeah. first-time homebuyer education course that you're going to be putting on. We do. We, we're, we're putting it on monthly. So yeah. the third Thursday of every month mm-hmm. in the evening time. Uh, I think we're starting at 6.30 yeah. in the office. We're doing a first-time homebuyer workshop, which will talk about mortgages. It'll talk about the house hunt. It'll talk about pre-qualification and how important that mm-hmm. is. Um, we also have insurance advisors and CPAs and other folks who are going to be joining us on that workshop once a month, um, taking turns coming in and talking about specific that people who are first-time home buyers should be aware of and know of um, homeowners insurance uh, flood insurance all different types of things just to educate the public because I think what that is exactly what we're seeing as we're taking buyers out who are first-time home buyers the education process is lengthy yeah and when you start as their as their agent and mm-hmm. so we want to kind of speed that up and help them to have the answers prior to going out and looking at properties so that they know what they're looking at, at expectations are clear as far as what are they dealing with what are they looking at what's the tax consequences how is it a good thing how's sure. it a bad thing for that particular knowledge person. is power yeah absolutely it really is so first thursday of every month if anybody's interested uh, please feel free uh, to give us a shout we'd love to have you on our list to uh, invite 
Fantastic. And we'll, we'll get you a number out. We'll talk about mm-hmm. it when we okay. get to that point. Also, buying versus renting. We're going to take a look, take a look at five of the major uh, markets here in, in California mm-hmm. and compare and contrast buying versus renting. Also, home sales would rise, some economists say, by 15 to 20 percent if the average FICO that was qualifying for mortgages actually dropped to 720. Really? And we'll talk about that in greater detail as to so uh, pull that apart and yeah, help let's it to make, dissect make sense. that one. Yeah. That's interesting. And also, tip of the week: rental property scams. Be very, very careful. And we've got some tips there to make sure that you're able to avoid sending someone a check out of the country in hopes that you're actually going to get the opportunity to rent their place. You'd okay. be surprised. I, I, you'd yeah, be don't surprised. Get me Say no that. more. Exactly. Mm. And some borrowers have uh, appear to have been shortchanged. In the recent foreclosure settlement process, Southern California home prices soar in March. Actually, that's just not Southern California home yeah. prices, but it's prices overall in mm-hmm. California soar in March. And we're going to have a little down payment a day, debate. I'm going to win. Yeah. <laughs> You always win. I'm louder, meaner, and uglier than you. you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, all right. We're also going to take some listener questions, so make sure that you stay with us. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle and myself share with you on our show, it all starts with one call. Call us anytime, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. We'd love to hear from you. You can also go to our resources online. Go to our website. You can just ask Craig about mm-hmm. anything. Go to our website at valleywidesells.com. Again, that's valleywidesells.com. To friend us on Facebook, use press four keywords. Friend of Valleywide on Facebook. Or use press four keywords. KMJ, call Valleywide. To get connected to the show or get connected to Valleywide or us anytime. Well, you heard us mention press four. What is press four? Press four is for all those times you're away from your computer when you'd like us to begin sharing timely and accurate information about your local real estate market. All you have to do is go to the press four website. That's P-R-E-S-S, the number four, dot com or go to your app store, whether you have a uh, Android phone or a smartphone like an iPhone. You and I have one of those. Yeah, but the dumb phones can do it just the online. The dumb phones can do it just online. Yeah. yeah. Follow the easy setup instructions, and before you know it, all you have to do is call us up and say, KMJ, hot property, and we'll share you more information about this week's hot property as an example. Nice. Yep, exactly. Well, speaking of today's hot property, Today's Hot Properties brought to you by Perfect Inspections. Whether it is residential, multifamily, um, or commercial, use press for keywords, Perfect Home Inspections. Or call Dale today at 352-6941. Again, that's 352-6941. Well, today's hot property is a HUD home. And as we mentioned before, a HUD home is a, all it is is a property that um, had FHA financing on it previously. And unfortunately, the buyers lost it. They, uh, they, the bank, let's say it was Bank of America, took the property back, then filed an insurance claim with HUD and now markets it as a HUD home. Today's Hot Property is located at 2771 North Dante Avenue, Fresno, California, 93722. This three-bedroom, two-bath, 1,561-square-foot home. Built in 2010. Ooh, yeah, built in 2010. Recent. Brand wow. new. Uh, was appraised with an FHA appraisal for $158,000. The builder was Lennar originally. Great pricing yeah, on that. Really and great pricing. That's a desirable school district for a lot mm-hmm. of folks, Central Unified. It is. Nice. Properties insured, which means qualifies for FHA financing Great. as well. There are no repairs required for the property to meet FHA's minimum property requirements. Awesome. So it's in good shape. Yeah, it's in really good shape. Nice. There's no repairs required. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. If you'd like more information about today's hot property, give us a call anytime, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. Or use press four keywords. KMJ Hot Property. And Michelle and I will send you more information about this hot property right to your smartphone. Look for more hot properties each week right here on the Real Estate Radio Network. Well, top stories in the news. Fresno County currently 1,054 active listings. Interesting. I think last week we were 1,052. So we've and before that 1,093. We're like just hovering within that yep. hundred mark. Yeah, of the 1,054 um, active wow. listings, 81 are active short sales. That accounts for 7.6 percent of the total market. 107 are currently REOs, so bank-owned properties. Mm-hmm. Uh, been lost to foreclosure, which accounts for 10.1% of the market, and 866 um, are considered uh, considered traditional or other, and other might be uh, the property is a flip. Or, or just, a probate. Or a probate. Right. Or, uh, Some other reason for sale. Exactly.
Not a distress sale. Not a distress generally. sale. Yeah. I, I don't I, honestly. I don't know if you'd call much any of, of them distress. Anything. Yeah, in I today's guess, market. Well, distressed. I guess when I think distressed, I think uh, deficient. The reason why they're on the forced market. market. Right. They they got to the market because they were taken away from someone right. else, which considers it to distressed. be distressed. Right. 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 And, but, you know that that also brings up an interesting point. I'm not stressed. No, not that you're oh, stressed oh, or okay. distressed. Or distressed. But when you look at the word distressed, uh-huh. you know, we ask the question, are we seeing the death of the short sale and the decline of the foreclosure? We're always going to see for foreclosures. Mm-hmm. However, though, I think there's a greater likelihood that we are going to see the death of the short sale first. at some point. Yeah. Most definitely first. Yeah. Yeah, because people are starting to gain equity. Mm-hmm. And it becomes less advantageous to do a short sale. It just does. If you're if you're fifteen hundred dollars off the mark, right, you're better off paying it yourself, right? Or or you know, moving through another avenue, traditional sale, pushing the pricing, uh, and and not do a short sale. Mm-hmm. And so we're do we we are seeing a lot of that. We are also seeing a lot of short sales being pushed, price wise. Um, it used to be when we'd see a short sale go on the market, whoever the agent was and whoever the clients were, generally they wanted the first offer. That was substantial and be done. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're seeing bidding wars on the short sales as well and right. pushing that pricing up. So right. they aren't as economically uh, deals as they were before, possibly, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Well, especially in competitive market. We spoke mm-hmm. with an appraiser this week, and she had mentioned uh, on some of the sales that she's seen come across, and two specifically were investor sales. Mm-hmm. One, the investor was willing to pay $40,000 more than the list price. It was a cash cash deal. Okay. And then the second one, the investor was willing to pay $15,000 wow. over the asking price and again was a cash deal as well. And and so that is just uh confirming what we've already been saying is that speculation's inv- rampant in the market. Speculation yeah. is pushing. So those investors who are trying to get a deal, yeah. be aware. You're competing with the investor who's 40 grand over market right. value because he's just going to hold it till the market hits his price and, point. And that's the speculation yeah. they're banking on. They're banking on the fact that the market's yeah. going to be the 40 muscle. 40 grand. Yeah, 40 grand <laughs> makes you wonder what's the... Yeah, because generally, I mean, you're looking at more than 10%. I mean, you might be 20% over right. on that. And it still amazes me, the investors that are calling and coming in who think they're going to get a deal and offer want to offer 20000 right, right. or 40000 less. And it makes you wonder also, where have these investors been? I yeah, mean, hello. Under what rock? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 18 the months ago. The trending of the market has 18 changed. 18 months ago and farther back. Do some you research. May, you may have been able to actually get that done. <laughs> but today, uh, not so much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think those investors who are coming into this area better better do their homework. Yeah. Well, when you talk about first-time home buyers, uh, CNN Money reports that home buyers are, for the most part, clueless in today's housing market. Well, the housing market is heating up, yet many house hunters are not prepared to take the biggest purchase of their lives, um, or take on, excuse me, the biggest purchase of their lives. When it comes to mortgages, home buyers answer basic questions about terms, how to choose a lender, and financing wrong nearly, and I was expecting that to be a positive thing, but nearly wrong one-third of the time, according to a survey that was done in April of more than a 1,000 current and prospective home buyers by real estate website Zillow. <laughs> now, among the survey's findings, 31% of buyers don't think it's possible to get a mortgage for less than 5% down. So, common misconceptions of first-time home buyers. Absolutely, and again, that goes to the the current press. And it's not just first-time home buyers; it's home buyers in general. In general, yeah. So what we have is we have all of these people who are talking about the tightening of the market and mm-hmm. the tightening of the banks. Yeah. And it's led people to to make assumptions that aren't true. Well, unless you're spending a whole lot of time paying attention or doing research or out doing there actually looking. Doing research, and yeah. that's the issue. It, you, it, you, a lot Educate of folks yourself. Still, a lot of folks are still living in 2008. Oh, it's, it's not that far ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, five years ago. Right. Now, 31% of buyers don't think it's possible to get a mortgage with less than 5% down, we mentioned. Now, 34% of home buyers don't know what the term annual percentage rate means i'm gonna i'm gonna chuckle here because i think there's quite a few loan officers in the industry that don't know what the term annual percentage rate means sorry why don't Uh, you tell them what annual percentage you know i'll get to that and and it it also means that one in four believe that you must close uh with the lender that pre-approves your mortgage oh no so 25 percent of those home buyers think that well you know once you climb in bed with a lender you're done that you have to stay put yeah, I don't come in bed with any lenders. Well, that's... Just that's, saying. That, just saying. It always takes a nasty turn. <laughs> wow. Hey, wow. I just want to make sure we're clear on that one. So Wowzers. You asked, so you asked a question about annual percentage rate. 
Yeah. I'll give you my standard spiel. And you know, it took a number of years because I could never get anyone to give me a comprehensive explanation. So your mentors didn't know what it was either? <laughs> no. Well, it was it was kind of taking bits and pieces from everyone and then putting it together in, in terms that I could understand. Because, okay. again, I'm not that bright. Well, let's talk about it. I mean, APR, we hear it a lot in car mm-hmm. sales. Yeah. We hear it. Zero APR interest so, rate on this car if you buy by February 1 of whatever year. Yeah. And we see that a lot in car, car advertising. Yeah. And even there, I think there's a misrepresentation of what it truly is in some cases. you you got to well, really not, ask for clarity because you don't explained. really yeah, – exactly. it's not explained. Yeah. So annual percentage rate is the cost of your loan expressed in interest rate terms. Okay. Okay. So, so slow down. As an cost example. of my loan. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm buying a $300,000 house. The truth in lending disclosure that it discloses APR um, is a tool that the consumer can use to be able to shop amongst different lenders because – in short, mm-hmm. if it's an expression of the cost of your loan expressed in interest rate terms, the loan with the higher APR is the loan that is going to be more expensive as far as the consumer is concerned. You're so not, it has more fees associated correct, potentially. Exactly. So as an example, um, a loan might have an interest rate of three and a half. Okay. But your APR might might be three point seven six. Well, the the same loan, same loan amount, same interest rate of three and a half might have an APR of three point eight nine. Well, that as long as it's disclosed accurately and correctly, mm-hmm. um, that loan is going to be more expensive up front in terms of costs and fees, comparatively speaking, to the other loan. So, and, so can we talk about only, the kinds of fees, like appraisal? Does well, that, there's only, does there's that only count? specific. There's only specific terms. Okay. There, there's only specific fees that are used to calculate your annual percentage rate. Now. You addressing what you just said as far as 0% APR. If there's no difference between your note rate and your APR, there are no fees associated with your loan. So that's really what, what is advertised in car industries. 0% APR regularly. means your note rate's a, uh, zero and there's no fees associated with getting that loan. They're I basically see. lending you the money and, in not order charging to, you. and not charging anything for it. Yeah, and generally I'm guessing, and this is just a guess, is that the dealership is the one who's incurring those costs because they're making the profit back in the car sale. There's a way, there's uh, directly or indirectly, there's a way that the dealership as a whole, based upon volume, right. is making money for moving those vehicles. Right, right. Okay, so but in housing, it's totally different. Correct. Totally, because totally because different. nobody's eating all those fees. So it's, it's a comparison of fees between institution, brokers, et cetera. Between two entities. Okay. Or, or how many other entities you want to go ahead and okay. disclose or, com- or compare And so they have against. to disclose that to you when you're doing the application process? Well, general fees? once you have collateral, uh-huh. yeah, a house. you are re- once you are in co- once you have collateral, you are required to uh, to disclose within three days. Oh, okay. So you've got to be able to show, hey, here's here's, here's the costs and fees, and here's okay. your annual percentage rate, and all that good stuff. Okay, cool, yep. cool, cool, cool. Most definitely, it's. <laughs> It's no wonder people are confused by it, though. Yeah, definitely. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle and myself share with you here on our show this beautiful Sunday Memorial Day weekend, give us a call, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. You can also check out our resources online and listen to past shows from the Real Estate Radio Network by going to our website. Go to valleywidesells.com. Again, that's valleywidesells.com, the name Says, Says it, all. it all. It sure does. To friend us on Facebook, you use press four keywords. Friend Valley White on Facebook. Or use press four keywords. KMJ call Valley White. To get connected to us, call into the show anytime. We'd love to hear from you. Well, coming up, some borrowers are shortchanged in the foreclosure settlement. We're going to talk a little bit about buying versus renting here in California. And Southern California, well, actually, California as a whole, prices soar in March. We're also going to have that down payment debate. And again, Michelle's going to win. So. I am. Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping you to redefine real estate here on 105.9, the FM KMJ. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. Mortgage interest rates are at historic lows, and there's never been a more affordable time to buy real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing property, let the mortgage professionals at Valleywide help. Valleywide Homes has been helping homeowners with their mortgage needs since 1997. When it comes to the Valley's real estate, we know our way around the neighborhood. Call toll-free, 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals at Valleywide Homes to work for you. Valleywide Homes, and MLS number 342-062-235-952. California Department of Real Estate License, 0122 
800-500-2560. Have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer at 449-8989. That's Arise Solar at 449-8989. Or use press 4 keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country, the whole country, from Pete Seats right here in Fresno? If that's the case, you need to call Pete Seats. Any ticket, anytime. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's Seats, and then there's Pete Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete Seat. Online at PeteSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. Well, Michelle, let's talk about buying versus renting. Obviously, that is top of mind for a lot of folks here in the Central Valley right at the moment. Um, did you know that most monthly mortgage payments of the typical U.S. home currently compare more favorably to rents than at any time since the early 1970s? That doesn't surprise me. No, absolutely not. No, it doesn't now they, surprise they, me. They compared even better eight, 18 months ago. <laughs> so Did they? you better get it while you can. No kidding. No yeah. kidding. Because people can eliminate rent by buying a house right now. Oh, easily. And, you know, honestly, here in the Valley, we are really blessed. You yeah. have USDA. You have other programs. I mean, FHA is 3.5% down. Yeah. But there are other programs that work along with that. CHADAP, USDA. There are certain areas um, where you have zero down payment. Mm-hmm. And people can take advantage of that. And it doesn't take an zero, 850 credit right, score. Right, zero or darn near zero. Exactly. Yeah. So I really think if, you, if you're if you wondering, if you're sitting there wondering rent versus buy. Do the homework. Do the homework. Call, call us. us. Yeah. Call someone. Yeah, 800, exactly. 800-979-3958. Run the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> you're, going to be, you're going to be impressed. So when it comes time for buying, uh, buying includes monthly mortgage. So you're, the mm-hmm. cost of your monthly mortgage, mm-hmm. which is principal and interest, insurance and taxes, mm-hmm. Improvements and repairs, mm-hmm. plus mortgage interest and tax the tax deduction savings. Knock okay. on wood, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, for the moment. I do that for every client. Knock I hear tomorrow wood. morning about 9 a.m. They're going to they're no. <laughs> take it from my, my <laughs> dead cold body. <laughs> now, renting includes the average monthly rent and rental insurance that you might find that you would pay during that particular okay. region. In, their, in their, their numbers. In their region, comparison. yeah. San Francisco. Average cost to buy a home on a monthly basis, $3,063. Wow, there was, there was a point in time where my mortgage payment was in excess of that. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's uh, scary. back in the heyday. Yeah, mm-hmm. Rent, $2,400. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, seven-year investment appreciation, $1,569. I think that's low for first Yeah, show. I do too. I do too. A little bit low. Los Angeles, buying per month, $1,652. Rent, $1,777. Mm-hmm. San Diego, here you go. If you want to rent something in heaven... This is what it's going to cost you. $1,481. To rent it? Yeah, to rent. Let's move to San Diego. I know. It's just, yeah. Gorgeous. Gosh. Or to buy something, $1,811. That's more economical than you would think, though. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Um, buying in Sacramento, $935. Rent, 986 So all those politicians who are currently renting on our dime, maybe they should be buying on our dime. Yeah, state of California. Thank you. Exactly. Sorry, I'm just saying. It'd be a great investment. There's some strategy. great rentals up there. I get yeah, it. At the same time. State of California, as a whole, buy $1,588, rent $1,551. And no appreciation when you yeah. rent. Seven-year investment appreciation, $761, savings $790. Bucks. Wow. Yep. Gotta love it. Definitely Gotta worth, love it. worth the investment. So <laughs> I came across this report. Home sales would rise 15 to 20% with a 720 FICO. Now, this is interesting. Lawrence Yoon, chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, said recently it might be time to dial down how 
strict it is Are when it comes down for me? qualifying for a loan. If the credit score is required for a mortgage turned to the more normal levels of about 720 <laughs> for conventional loans and 660 for FHA loans, he said home sales could be up 15 to 20 percent higher than what they are. Now, during the past four years, the average scores for approved conventional loans have been in the neighborhood of 760 to 7, 770. Now, okay, stop there. No, I have I'm going to stop there, because, but let, let, me, let me tell you what okay. I'm going to tell you here real quick. Okay. What I don't know if Lawrence totally and completely understands, which I, I think there's a, a missing component here, is we have access to a number of lenders, actually the most, the, the most, the largest number of lenders, the minimum credit score for an FHA purchase, minimum middle credit score is 640. Okay, We have lenders that will go down below that. Um, the uh, minimum credit score for a, six tw- or, excuse me, for a Fannie Mae Freddie Mac product is um, 620. Mm-hmm. And then depending upon how high the loan to value gets, uh, at some point it tops out. And I don't have the the, uh, the chart in front of me to show, oh, hey, if you have a 620 credit score, can you borrow in excess of 90%? Right, or right, right. It also gets more expensive. I think what he's looking at here is that's what the average score may be. but I, That's I a statistic of what has been. Exactly. Not, not what – so what's, what's really available. What, what's available right. out there as far as w- what really – do you need in order to get it done? Well, and again, I think that goes back to the news and the press saying, hey, they, they're so strict, they're so strict, they're so strict, that it's pulling the premier lender, the, the premier loan recipients well, right. uh, to the table, whereas some who have less than perfect credit can come to the table and they just aren't aware because of the miscommunication and miseducation that's out there. Sure, sure. So there's people out there who are definitely lendable who don't even know they're lendable. So if you've got a credit score of 639, I, I spoke with a young gal yesterday, um, or no, excuse me, Friday, and uh, she had a like a 595 middle FICO. Right. And really no derogatory. But she had some revolving credit, some revolving, revolving trade lines that were over the credit limit. Okay. Which really weighs down your composite mm-hmm. credit scores. Um, and the potential improvement for those scores was absolutely huge. And all she had to do was pay down? Thank you. All yeah. she's going to have to do is pay down those balances below 10%. And 10% is... Um, we work with Credit Technologies, which is a national credit provider, and uh, <laughs> you get it below 10%. You'll get the biggest bang for your buck. Right. Um, you allow time. Once you've paid all those balances down below 10%, you allow time for the creditor to, to report that uh-huh. information uh-huh. Um, because it's based upon whatever's reporting to the credit bureaus at that point in time that you, it's a snapshot. That you pull it. It's a snapshot in time. Right. Exactly. And guess what? She'll qualify for because she's got the income. We right. just need to get, get the credit scores up. So don't... When somebody says, oh, credit score of X, Y, or Z, yeah. don't make an assumption that you're not in and, the running and for don't that. Make an, exactly. Don't make an assumption that there's not things that we can do to, quote, unquote, truly manipulate those scores. And manipulate is not a bad thing if it's done for if it's done for good. And, and if it's you. done legally and ethically. Yeah, exactly. But, for instance, she had no derogatory. She, she so had no, no had negative no information pointing her direction with the exception of her balance. Exactly. Yeah, simple, simple fix. Yeah, awesome. How, how many people out there think that they don't qualify because the last time they went to buy a car and they had a five ninety five TransUnion FICO? Mm-hmm. Well, again, that's a consumer credit report that's utilized for different purposes in terms of uh, you know, purchasing a vehicle as opposed to a three bureau mortgage credit report. It's totally different. It's apples and oranges. And I think that's one of the key things. If you're going to go and sit down and get the information, get the information of how you can buy. And from a professional. Correct. Yeah. Call us and, and, and get the road map. Exactly. Exactly. Well, tip of the week, beware of rental property scam. You know, the first time that I became aware of this rental property scam mm-hmm. or, or something very similar to this mm-hmm. was a couple of years ago. We had a listing. It was a HUD listing with okay. Valley White um, in Madera. And someone called up and said, hey, I'm calling about your listing or I'm calling about the property that you have for rent on so and so and so, you know, in Madeira. And mm-hmm. I said, you know, I'm sorry, sir, but this property is not for rent. And he says, well, I found it on Craigslist. <laughs> and the scam was that uh, you provided, and it was some super low monthly rent. In other words, the enticement is something that's below market. Right. So it's right. going to create an, an immense, a flurry. a flurry of interest. Uh-huh. Okay. And what the what the catch is is that. Uh, you know what? I, the the uh, person that owns the property, I just went out of the country, and I'm out of the country for whatever. Wow. And I need you to send $1,600, which was first and last. So $800 was the monthly rent, which on this property, it should have gone for 1200 easy. 
And uh, this is why the person is so eager to do that. Sure. And so cut me a cashier's check for uh, or, <laughs> uh, or a money order for $1,800. And I'll drop, once I receive it, I'll turn around and I'll drop the keys in the mail to you. Well, wow. Well. Any person that falls for that is not going to get keys. I'll return to you the keys and the, or I'll return the, uh, the rental agreement to you. You execute that, and uh, we're done and on down the road. But I think this 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 whole crisis of housing has put people in situations they're not accustomed to being in. Yep. So they some of them haven't rented in twenty years, and now all of a sudden they're having to figure out how to do this. And they go to Craigslist or they go to the newspaper, they go to these places, and they're just not accustomed to to being on that side of the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it doesn't have to be a uh, it. it, it It typically, in most instances, is a vacant property. Mm -hmm. Um, It doesn't have to be just a listing of a real estate agent or a real estate company. It could also be an actual rental listing where Mm -hmm. um, there are scammers that are actually taking that information off the Internet and reposting that information at lower rates with Mm -hmm. a different phone number. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just, just beware. Yeah. If it's a reputable, larger property management company here locally, you can also you can always go to the Department of Real Estate. Now, granted, it doesn't mean that uh, it's not a good thing to deal with folks that are individuals that mm-hmm. do that have the onesies and twosies as far as mm-hmm. uh, properties. That, that yeah, exactly. That they're sure, gonna... but they should be able to give you references too. Certainly, the people they have done business with in the past, the last renter, etc. I mean, there there should be a way to contact somebody who works with these people to verify. Yeah. And you should be able to meet someone at the property oh, to see yeah. the property. Yeah, exactly. And and how many of you out there would actually drop money in the mail? Yeah, no. To go to, to rent a property. Okay, Craig. Before you actually. Let's be see honest, it. though. You can't fix stupid. Yeah. No that's offense, true. guys, but let's get smart. Exactly. Stupid's a protected class now. Though. That's right. Oh that? gosh, yeah. don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke on the show here. Yeah, yeah. protected class. Who's mm. a protected class now? Not me. Well, okay. um, you know that the feds have reported recently that they're, and it, this is this doesn't come as a surprise that some borrowers are actually shortchanged in the f- recent foreclosure settlement. Really? Nearly a hundred thousand troubled borrowers were shortchanged <laughs> recently, where they were given a ten dollar bill and given back a dollar and fifty two cents in change. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> recently shortchanged on payments from Goldman Sachs. Uh, Morgan Stanley, the Federal Reserve, reported, <laughs> and money intended to compensate for possible errors and abuses during the foreclosure proceedings in 2009 and 2010. Another thing I wanted to add to this, mm-hmm. you know, as part of the foreclosure, the robo signing issues. One of the recent, uh, one of the properties that we had recent re- recently received, um, we represent uh, one of the asset managers that works with the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Well, in pulling the information from public record, the house had actually been foreclosed. It went to trustee sale back in 2011. Mm-hmm. And now two years later. And now, and in, it was near the end of 2011. But now, May of 13. 2013, it's hitting the market. So was that one of those properties that, because of the potential concerns as to whether we did it the right way, do we have anything to worry about? Right. Should we be looking over our shoulder, or should we just quote unquote slow the flow mm-hmm. as far mm-hmm. as inventory is concerned? Could that be a shadow, Craig? It, that that was my point. Wow, is, you might have found the first one. <laughs> it's kind of like an Easter egg hunt. Oh my gosh, you found it! I had to, it was lurking in the shadows. Willy Wonka, the golden <laughs> ticket. You found the shadow. <laughs> Holy moly! Ay ay ay. Yeah. So only the shadow knows. Only the shadow knows. Only the exactly. shadow knows. Again, if you have any real estate or mortgage related questions about who the shadow is and or is he really Batman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you hear on our show. It all starts with one call. Yeah, I know, guys. It's Sunday morning and we've kind of lost it, but that's okay. Yeah, we have a couple days off. Yeah, exactly. Eight, yeah, we're a little giddy. <laughs> 800. <laughs> give us a call. 800 979 3958. Again, that's 800 979 3958. You can also go to our website and check out our resources online. Just ask Craig whether it's about bankruptcy, whether it's about foreclosure, whether it's about when, renting a property, um, whatever it is, go to our website. Go to valleywidecells.com. Again, that's valleywidecells.com. To friend us on Facebook, use Press 4 Keywords. Friend Valleywide on Facebook. Or use Press 4 Keywords. KMJ, call Valleywide. To call us anytime. We'd love to hear from you. Well, is there equity in my property again? Doesn't everybody want to know? Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping you to redefine real estate. Here on 105.9, the FM KMJ.
This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. All it takes is one call to the professionals at Valleywide Homes, and you'll start building wealth in real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing investment property, let the experts at Valleywide Homes help. There's never been a better time to get into the real estate market. Visit our website at reofresnohomes.com or call toll-free 800-979-3958. That's 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals at Valleywide Homes to work for you. Have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer, at 449-8989. That's Arise Solar at 449-8989. Or use press 4 keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country, the whole country, from Pete Seats right here in Fresno? If that's the case, you need to call Pete Seats. Any ticket, any time. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's Seats, and then there's Pete Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete Seat. Online at PeteSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. Well, Michelle, before we talk or have the, uh, is there equity in my property again, let's just look at some of the statistics here. Um, and this is, uh, this is a Southern California article. Mm -hmm. This is an article that we saw that was written in, uh, by the Associated Press. Southern California home prices soar. In March, well, they did much the same in April, might I add. Southern California home prices surged in March to the highest level in nearly five years as buyers competed uh, for tighter supplies. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. A research firm said this past week the median price for a new and existing house um, and condominium jumped to 345000 up 23.4% for That's the same period last year and the highest since reaching 348 in July of 2008, according to DataQuick. Now, the median price rose by $24,500, or 8% during one month alone. That's scary. And that's not, you know, economists would say. Uh, that's, that's not healthy. No, it's not healthy. It's not a healthy gain. And that's the thing that we need to caution people about. Yeah. You need to be aware. Yeah, it's remarkable how much the housing scene has changed in a year, said John Walsh, DataQuick's president. At this point in 2012, there were still plenty of folks sitting on the market sidelines waiting to be sure the recovery was real. Well, well it's real. It's real. <laughs> it's happening. You can argue it all you want, but it's happening. Yeah, so the big question is, do I have equity in my property again? At that rate, probably pretty darn close. Well, and it's interesting. I'll give you a quick story. So I had a, a consumer call up a few weeks back and say, you know, I, I was talking, and he was leading the conversation in terms mm -hmm. of what he thought he needed. In terms Don't you of, love in, that? In, in, in terms of the mortgage mm -hmm. product. And I respect that. Okay. And keep in mind, it's based upon what other people are telling him or sure, have sure. told him in the past as sure. he's done his research. So he has a Fannie Mae eligible loan. It's mm -hmm. owned by Fannie Mae. Mm -hmm. So he's eligible for the DU Refi Plus, the 2.0 version, which mm -hmm. unlimits the, the loan to value as far as what he's capable of doing. Right. Um, it will refinance it regardless of loan to value. It's going to give him a rate and a term. A rate and a, a rate and term. Regardless correctly. of the value of his property, even Correct. if he's still upside down. Even if he's still upside okay. down. Okay. And here's the, the nice thing about it is that in this particular story, I think this is a, a bit of a success. I don't think he understood that he had some equity. I pulled comparables for him, and I said, honestly, buddy, 
I think you've got about thirty thousand dollars in equity. Right. When he was thinking he was upside down. Sure. Um, and he had he had paid more for the property a, uh-huh. a few years back, which th- that's a foregone conclusion. That's water under the bridge. He paid more. He put twenty percent down. I think he paid three, three. Oh gosh, three. He paid three hundred for it. Put twenty percent down to borrow two forty. Two forty, and he owes currently like two hundred and twenty thousand. And so he was concerned. Um, come to find out, he thought it was worth maybe two hundred thousand. Well, or actually, I take that back. He had actually listed the property like six eight months ago um, at one hundred eighty five. Well, now my estimation, based upon within a, it's it's about two fifty. Wow. Now the reason why he would need to stay under HARP is if your existing mortgage doesn't have PMI or private mortgage insurance, yeah, you can ref- wouldn't. Y- yeah, you can keep it that way and refinance it under HARP. Nice. HARP doesn't require that you have private mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance is not cheap right now. No, it would negate all of his monthly savings. So right. we're able to take him from a 6.375, let's say, rate uh-huh. and get him down to about 4% with, a, with, with, an APR no about, with no MI. With no MI and an APR of about 4.25, somewhere nice. in that ballpark. Yeah. Nice. It's a really great thing. So, so- so he came to you with what he wanted, and then once you shared what was a, what was open to him or possible for him. Yeah, he he was headed in the right direction, uh-huh. and and the definitely he was headed in the right direction. Whether he was guided that way or whether he kind of thought that just might be the way to go, um, he wasn't aware that he had equity. Nice. But we do want to make sure that we keep him in a position where he doesn't have PMI because right. it, it it makes every it it makes the refinance for naught. Uh, so so rate and term refinance. As long as you are not upside down anymore, that is that is really even if you are upside down. But does it make it's sense? It's a possibility. It's a possibility, exactly. So and I, people, and the thing I keep noticing is that people assume what they heard in the news or what they read on TV mm-hmm. or saw on TV is truth and fact and applies to them. And I think that's the thing that I would say in regards to your story is that don't believe everything you hear. And go research your information. Well, and it's only really been let's let's face it. You know, you get through the end of this past year, or the the end of 2012, and it's really only been the first quarter or the first four months of this year where all the data, all the economic data, as far as the housing market is mm-hmm. concerned, begins to point in an amazingly positive direction. Mm-hmm. A little too fast because sure. I think you can I think you can pick up too much steam. Sure. Um, you know, there is a, a certain speed with which you don't want to exceed as far as the, mm-hmm. the how how fast the economy travels. Right, but if you're sitting in a position where that steam is helping you yeah, to look at those numbers, more power to my, you. My point was is that with folks living life, just normal, uh-huh. and if they don't spend a whole lot of time, you know, they might sit down and, okay, let's say I didn't go to the gym tonight, and then I go and, and I sit down and I listen to the CBS Evening News, and I hear this story about how the housing market is doing. Well, that's one story in the last six months that I've actually right. heard. Or maybe I on the, on the drive-in, I'm listening to KMJ in the morning, and I hear Jen talking about... Oh wow! The you know talking about the housing market and how building in Fresno is an all time mm-hmm, high, well, you mm-hmm. know in the last six years, uh, you get a little smidge in here and there, and then all mm-hmm. of a sudden it kind of piques your interest. Wow, mm-hmm. maybe I should look into this. Right. You know, I purchased our house went here. You know, this year we owe this much. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think we might have equity, or we think we might qualify? There's a whole lot of people out there. If 80 percent of the sales in the Fresno area are traditional sales, mm-hmm. those folks have equity. Well, and or, and or those folks have done their homework, right? And they know are positioning that, themselves exactly, exactly. So, where do you start? Yeah, where do you start in today's a phone market? call? Yeah, a phone, phone call is where you start. <laughs> Honestly, get the facts before you make any decisions. Number one is it, it doesn't cost you a thing to work with any real estate agent, any real estate professional in order to get what's called a competitive market analysis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's extremely important that you get the input of a professional. You know, you're always going to have the spectrum in terms of those homeowners that think that don't that have no clue, mm-hmm. those that are moderately educated and those that think they've got it all figured out over the market regardless of what the market says. This is what my <laughs> what house is, is in yeah, their, this their is mind. What it, this is what it is and and um, yes, I'm wanting someone to pay in excess of market for my property because Mm -hmm. I think it's worth it and I've got gold plated toilets. Um, (laughs) So having said that, you're going to get the full spectrum. It it just, you know, enlist the, whether it's any, you know, whether it's us or any real estate professional, enlist the services of a real estate professional to do a full and complete market analysis Mm -hmm. for you. You know, making sure, did you know that you don't want to compare single stories to two stories? If you have a two story and there's only eight two stories in your neighborhood, you don't want to compare it to 
any of the single stories in your neighborhood. Right, right. Um, and if you if your neighborhood is overbuilt, comparatively speaking, to the mile square radius around you, and you're in you're in semi customs or customs, and everything around you is tracked, well, that's not apples and apples. No. That's apples and oranges. Right, right. So definitely get a professional's. Yeah, input. exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. And whether it's whether you're looking to refinance, mm -hmm. because it doesn't, for most folks, it's just knowing where you're at that helps to inspire thought with regards to, so what can I do with that? Right. It's like knowing that I've got a $40,000 check coming in the mail. So mm -hmm. what could I do with that? What mm -hmm. could I leverage mm -hmm. that money? You know, right. In what way could I leverage that money? In order, and what could I accomplish? Could right. I pay off some debt? Could I pay off an automobile? Um, could I put some of it into an account to save for my uh, my child's college? And, and we're talking about saving interest yeah. on a monthly basis. So reducing your payment, yeah. sell, possibly selling your home, or at least knowing where you're at and understanding the market has, the market isn't picking up traction. The market has already picked up traction mm -hmm. right. and is headed in a direction where we've seen year over year 20% uh, increase as far as home prices in California. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Did I sound like I was on my soapbox? Yeah, it's okay. You can do that. I do it all the time. <laughs> You're not quite as passionately uh, crazy as I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, passionate and crazy. Not necessarily in the same sentence. Well, the debate's coming. Don't forget. <laughs> exactly. We're going to talk about that. That'll get you passionate. If you have any crazy. real estate or mortgage related questions or questions regarding the information that Michelle and myself share with you on our show, if anything, I just hope that we pique your interest and keep you entertained. Right? <laughs> Happy Sunday morning. <laughs> Happy Sunday morning. Exactly. <laughs> As you're laying there in bed with one eye open going, wow, these people are a little off track. Give us a call, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. We'd love to hear from you. You can also check out our resources online. Search for your new home. There are so many folks that are signing up on our website. It is amazing. Go to our website, Valleywide Cells. Valleywide Cells. You can start searching for your new home right now. To friend us on Facebook, use Press 4 Keywords. Friend Valley White on Facebook. Or use Press 4 Keywords. KMJ, call Valley White. To get connected to the show anytime, we'd love to hear from you. Well, we're going to have the down payment debate, and we're also going to take some listener questions. Make sure you stay with us. You are listening to the Real Estate Radio Network, helping you to redefine real estate. Here on 105.9, the FM, KMJ. This program is brought to you by the Real Estate Radio Network. Visit realestateradio.us for more info. That's realestateradio.us. Mortgage interest rates are at historic lows, and there's never been a more affordable time to buy real estate. Whether you're looking for your first home, moving up, or your next income-producing property, let the mortgage professionals at Valleywide help. Valleywide Homes has been helping homeowners with their mortgage needs since 1997. When it comes to the Valley's real estate, we know our way around the neighborhood. Call toll-free, 800-979-3958. And put the seasoned professionals at Valleywide Homes to work for you. Valleywide Homes, NMLS number 342062. 235952, California Department of Real Estate License, 01228460. Have you ever thought about going solar? It's never been easier to go solar than with a SunPower lease. You'll start saving money the very first day. Arise Solar has a team of energy consultants ready to help you determine if going solar is right for you. Start taking control of your energy costs. Contact Arise Solar, your local SunPower Elite dealer at 449-8989. That's Arise Solar at 449-8989. Or use press four keywords, Arise Solar. Did you know that all the tickets you can buy on different websites come from the same place? Did you know that you can buy every ticket you need to any event in the country, the whole country, from Pete's Seats right here in Fresno? If that's the case, you need to call Pete's Seats any ticket, anytime. Sports, concerts, theater. Hey, there's seats, and then there's Pete's Seats. Premium tickets for all events, local, national, worldwide. Don't settle for a regular seat when you can get a really good Pete's Seat. Online at PeteSeats.net or simply 294-SEAT. That's 294-7328. How much should I be saving? When can I retire? What can I do to ensure that my estate will be left in the hands of my family once I'm gone? Is my hard-earned money safe in today's markets? With all the uncertainty in today's world, all of us at the Island Group know it is our job to provide answers to these questions. Walk with us, the Island Group, at UBS Financial Services. Call me, Kate Island, at 559-248-4097. That's 559-248-4097. And take the first step in protecting your financial future. All rights reserved. UBS Financial Services, Inc. is a subsidiary of UBS AG. Member SIPC. You're
You're listening to Real Estate Radio Network with local expert Craig Barton. Now, here's Craig. All right, you got your uh, your, your your debate shoes on? I do, my yeah. black tennies. Yeah, your black tennies. Yeah, they match my suit. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You look great. I'm ready to run. Yeah, you're ready to run. That's not part of a debate. Oh, you don't, sorry. You don't yell, scream, point your finger, and then run the other direction. I might have to with you in the room. <laughs> Wow, you make me out. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know that I want to debate with you. Okay, well, All right. let's have a low down the low down payment debate. It was recently said in a um, uh, at a symposium in Washington D.C. that really. If all we needed to do was increase the down payment to twenty percent for all mortgages, that we could stave off much of what we saw over the last seven years well, as far as the sense. housing crisis. I mean, is it concerned. sounds like it, it sounds makes sense. logical. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, Roughly, what that would do, if we required all buyers to have at least 20% down, that would eliminate at, somewhere in the ballpark of about 50% of all buyers. Out of our market. Out of our market. Which sure. would have, which would, if we had 50% less buyers, I mean, what would it do based upon inventory and so forth? Right. Well, in Fresno's market, it may not have as, in Fresno County's market, it may not have as, as big a consequence. Right. But right. nationally in those markets that still have yet to pick up the traction that we have, that mm-hmm. still have tons of properties. Um, in inventory, it would have serious, serious consequences. Well, did you know that from 1998 to 2012, that 5.5% of all low-down mortgages, now low-down mortgages are those mortgages that are made to um, low income and a, a little different So we're economic. talking about CHDAP, we're talking about Chidap, USDA. Exactly, that falls below those okay. those limits or guidelines that are set forth in whatever county that uh-huh. the property is located in or the borrower's in. Um, they would be considered low to moderate income. Well, during between 1998 and 2012, five, only 5%, 5.5% of all low-down mortgages, the FHA right at the moment is an example, is 3.5% defaulted. 5.5%. Whereas if it was a subprime loan that was made over the last seven years, we saw a default rate, regardless of the down payment, of roughly 25%, nearly five times what we saw of those folks that had low to moderate income. So why penalize those folks? My point is this, is that it appears the culprit was more so your ability to qualify, less your ability to qualify than, and um, those full, those, that 5.5% of the low mm-hmm. to moderate income mm-hmm. loans, those were full doc. Okay, but I'm going to, I'm you ready? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I am curious to know, um, most of the low down mortgages, mm-hmm. FHA, yeah. USDA, et cetera, are thirty year or fifteen year fixed. Yes. They are not accelerated, they are not adjustable mortgages. Correct. A good majority back in the day yep. were adjustable in subprime. They paid And the out was that they expected in two, three two, or five two, years three or five. that they were going to right. that they were going to adjust and the and that really the intent was that those folks would refinance at that particular time. Because they would have as earned long equity. As there was an out. And guess what? There was the no out equity. Was not there. Correct. So that in my that's opinion That's another variable you have to throw that's in. That's a variable I'm throwing in and I'm throwing it and in I because agree. I, I I think that it's less about the down payment and more about the solid buyer. Because every one of those FHA, every one of those CHDAP have a, a rigorous underwriting process they go through. I totally agree. Subprime, yep. the underwriting process was lackadaisical. It was not consistent, and it made way for loopholes. And quite a few of those uh, those subprime loans right. that were made over the last well over the last ten, ten, ten years, years. really prior to uh, two thousand and seven, right. Um, were not full doc and right. also possessed those features that caused them to become adjustable at some point in time. Correct. And those folks didn't have equity when it came time to refinance. So they, refinance. So they, out, so the payment out outproduced what the family could afford. And there was no out because right. there was no equity. There was no way to get, to to walk away other than to walk away. You couldn't and adjust or or anything. I- yeah. Exactly. And did you also know that from 2007 to 2010 that the best performing loans nationally were VA loans, and VA loans don't require a down payment. So therein lies, guys, here's the deal. Mm-hmm. Like you just said, if it's a solidly underwritten loan Correct. that's scrutinized and that right. it's full doc. That's truth. And that it's also a Factual fixed rate. Factual and makes sense. And Because here's the deal. You know, in any market, if it's fix, if it's a fixed rate, 30-year loan, right. fully amortized. If you can afford it now, but you think you'll be able to afford it five years from now? Well, let's hope. Most Upside of us are not, making more in five years than yeah, we were right exactly. now. Exactly. So, what do you think was probably the greatest variable other than subprime loans? How about unemployment mm-hmm. or underemployment? Underemployment. Where you couldn't afford that mortgage. Right. Okay. Right. That was probably another variable that we the should that we should have taken a look at. Maybe job loss was huge. Mm-hmm. So, 
That's the damn payment debate for today. Okay, well, I feel like I won. Yeah. No, I, I thought we both won. Well, hmm. All right, why, why I'll you, let you win. You I'll let you win. win. I'll let you win. You're like my wife. Ay, ay, ay. She's awesome. Don't mess with her. Uh, yeah, I know. She is awesome. She's okay. my love. All right. Tammy from Clovis. My husband and I have been in contract on a short sale since March, and the, and the bank has now come back and is asking for $7,000 more than what the seller accepted. Aye. How do we handle this? Well, yeah, you've if got you've been in contract now. since March, yeah. um, I'm saying go for it. Contingent on appraisal. If it you know, if it doesn't appraise, you walk away. If That's it appraises, you're That's good. That's a really good point. You either walk away appraisal. or renegotiate. Yeah, exactly. Because or, the bank can't just decide, you know, that it's worth ten thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars, three thousand dollars more than the market's well, going to bear. Can, the bank can say they want sure. X for a property because I think in in this particular instance, their concern was the appraisal was just done recently, and then all of a sudden they come back the next day and yeah. say, "Hey, we want three hundred seven. So there's no firm reason yet. Right. They don't even have the numbers for the appraisal. Exactly. So you're asking for that, and the appraisal hasn't even come in. Yeah. So the, the bank can ask. Ask for whatever they want to right. ask for. But I think you hit it on the head. It's contingent upon the appraisal. Because right. you've got two choices. You walk away. Right. Or, or you say, hey, I'll agree to that as long as it appraises. Right. And that's, I mean, why yeah. wouldn't, uh, that's why, my recommendation. Yeah. Why, why isn't that safe? It is safe. I think it is. It is. Okay. Yeah. So you win. All right. I won the debate. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Uh, why does there always have to be a winner and a loser, Johnny? I, 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 again, if you have any real estate or mortgage-related questions or questions as to why Michelle always has to win, it all starts with one call. Give us a call, 800-979-3958. Again, that's 800-979-3958. You can also check out our resources online and listen to past shows from the Real Estate Radio Network. You can also search for your new home by going to valleywidesells.com. I'm a little competitive. <laughs> No The way. word debate no threw me into competition, exactly. friend. Yeah, competition mode. <laughs> to friend us on Facebook, use press four keywords. Friend Valley White on Facebook. Or use press four keywords. Hey and J call Valley White. To call into the show anytime we'd love to hear from you. Well, big thank you to Michelle Pettis, my special guest host, for joining us today. Michelle, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for hey, having me. Tell us a little bit more. The first time homebuyer class at Valley White Homes at 7082 North Maple Avenue, suite number 104, every third Thursday of the month at 6.30 p.m. Correct. And if you want more information, three. Five four. I just lost my number. Three six seven sixty eight hundred can get you to me, and I will help you get all the details. Three six seven sixty eight hundred. Awesome. There was another number, yeah. but I don't recall. Big it. thank you to Johnny B <laughs> behind the mics. Johnny, you always rock, buddy. Great having you, <laughs> or great being here with you, I should say. Our goal with the Real Estate Radio Network is to get you, our listener, the timely and accurate truth about your local real estate market so we can help bring you back home. Don't forget to tune into the Real Estate Radio Network next Sunday at 7 a.m. right here on 105.9, the FM KMJ, local news, local talk. Make it a great day, Central Valley, and we will see you next week. The preceding program was paid for by the Real Estate Radio Network.